Today we are going to look at finding the limit of a recurrence relation. The national five essential skills are algebra. If we plot the graphs of some of the sequences that I've been dealing with, then some similarities will occur. Divergence. Sequences defined by recurrence relations in the form un plus 1 equals a un plus b, where a is less than minus 1 or a is greater than 1, will have a graph like this. These sequences will continue to increase or decrease forever and they are said to diverge. Convergence. Sequences defined by recurrence relations in the form un plus 1 equals a un plus b, where a this time lies between minus 1 and 1. They will have a graph that looks like this. And these sequences tend to a limit. They will tend to a value and a limit and they are said to converge. The limit of a recurrence relation, as we've seen in the previous slide, sequences of the form un plus 1 equals a un plus b will tend to a limit if a lies between minus 1 and 1. We can calculate this limit as long as we know the values of a and b and the formula for this limit is b over 1 minus a. This formula will need to be memorised, it is not given in the exam. If you struggle to memorise the formula for finding the limit of a recurrence relation, L equals B over 1 minus A, we can use the following method to rearrange and obtain the limit. UN plus 1 equals UN equals L. So we are going to replace UN plus 1 and UN in a recurrence relation with L. So we're going to sub it in. If we sub it in, we get L equals AL plus B. We need to rearrange. So I'm going to move the AL over to the left hand side and subtract to get L minus AL equals B. We can then take out a common factor of L. Factorising will get us L equals 1 minus A equals B. And then to get L on its own, we simply move the 1 minus A over and divide. So L equals B over 1 minus A. So if you struggle to memorise the formula, you would replace un plus 1 and un in your current relation with L. Example 1. The deer population in a forest is estimated to drop by 7.3% each year. Each year, 20 deer are introduced to the forest. The initial deer population is 200. A. How many deer will there be in the forest after 3 years? And B, what is the long-term effect on the population? So for part A, we need to obtain a recurrence relation. So we can say that UN plus 1 equals 0 0.927 UN plus 20. So we do 100%, take away the 7.3% to give us 92.7% and that has to be put in decimal form. U0, our starting population, is 200. To get the value after year 1, we multiply 0 0.927 by 200 plus 20, which is 205.4. To get the value after year 2, same idea, and we get an answer of 210.4058. And year 3, the amount of deer in the forest will be 215.0461. Again, we would always round this answer down as we can't get 0 0.04 of a deer. Therefore, there are 215 deer living in the forest after three years. Now we'll have a look at part B. 
And when a question asks what is the long term effect in the population, you need to consider if the recurrence relation tends to a limit or not. We can see that a limit does exist since the value of a, which is 0 0.927, does lie between minus 1 and 1. So to calculate the limit, the formula is b over 1 minus a, b is 20 and a is 0 0.927. So the next line we'll sub these values in and putting this into our calculator, our answer is 273.97. Again, we would round this answer down and the answer is the deer in the forest will tend to a limit of 273. Example 2. A sequence is defined by the recurrence relation u m plus 1 equals k u n plus 2 k and the first term in the sequence is u0. Given the limit of the sequence is 27, we need to find the value of k. For this type of question, we need to use our algebraic skills and a lot of rearranging. So to obtain the limit of 27, we first of all need to write down how would we get this limit. It would be b over 1 minus a and for our recurrent relation it would be 2k over 1 minus k. Therefore 2k over 1 minus k is equal to 27. Here we need to rearrange. I'm going to move the 1 minus k over and because I'm moving both things over I need to put it in a bracket and I'm multiplying it with the 27. We would then expand our right hand side out, 27 multiplied by 1 is 27, 27 multiplied by negative k is negative 27k. We'd rearrange to get all our k's on the one side. So the next line I'm going to move the negative 27k over and add it to 2k to get 29k is equal to 27. And then finally, dividing by 29, we can see the value of k is 27 over 29. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. And the answers for part A. We need to obtain first a recurrence relation, which is un plus 1 equals 0 0.8 un add on 0 0.5. And here we can see tends to a limit of 2.5 metres. And for part b, if the limit is going to be 2, then a must equal 0 0.75. If a is 0 0.75, that means the trees must be trimmed by 25%. Please self-assess your progress. So what have we learned today? To find the limit of a recurrence relation, we need to know the condition first of all. So a limit exists if the value of a lies between negative 1 and 1. And if a limit does exist, we would then use the formula L equals b over 1 minus a.